everyone, it's Ryzen. Welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 3. Well, I actually had to resolve this puzzle off screen, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of weird that it would make me do that again, but, oh well. Not a big deal. More scenes? More scenes. Good thing I left off when I did. Why do they have to defrost it? Seems more like a desert climate to me, but okay. Yes, I know, it's probably some refrigeration unit, right? Ah, so Oscar was sent way back in the past. Long before humans even existed. That's pretty interesting, I have to say. And we will understand why Maya <laughs> kind of lights up there at the end of the game. Or, eventually. Yeah, eventually. Yeah, he essentially hibernated by turning himself off for years. And you can actually see Osgard in the Ruins of Memory just sitting there from the beginning of the game, which makes logical sense, since if he was sent back in the past and hibernating, he would have always been there. Unfortunately, we're going to have to deal with him. Again. Well, at least Giannis doesn't come back. I'm actually kind of disappointed that they kill off Giannis in Chapter 2, but whatever. They should have revealed his backstory. Ah, this puzzle. This one is a pain in the ass. But I think it'll work like this. Oh no, I don't want to do that. My bad. There we go. There are many solutions. But if you just do what I do, it'll work. Simple enough. Well, we got a puzzle here, but let's not solve it yet. Ah, there's the Anzu. And he is weak to Earth Elemental, so let's use a quick old Earth Gem. Uh, you could also... Actually, do I have just regular Petrify? I could probably just cast regular pe regular old Petrify, since I removed it. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't really care what you do. And Requiem, and that should finish them off. Uh, can Anzus do anything interesting? A Wind Elemental attack... Uh... Oh yeah, they can also curse you to reduce your status resistance. And inflict uh, poison on you. Other than that, nothing really to worry about. Of course, we want to go back to what we were doing. Terror. Where's Flash hit? Oh, I accidentally equipped it. And back to good old Gale Claw. Uh, what did I want to do? I'll just put Eagle Eye. Whatever. I don't really care. Adventure Seven. Uh, that's the seventh book. We should have. Should have one through six, really. 
I'm still confused as to how to handle this side quest. I could just show you what to do. Hmm. I'm not sure if I actually, if you guys want me to show you the entire story that... Uh, basically, you collect all these and you show them to uh, Clive's daughter. I forget her name off the top of my head, but... You read it to her. Caitlin, is it? Anyway, you read it to her and uh, it's a complete story. I think it's 11 books, but... If you guys want me to show you that, I'll make a bonus episode of it. No problem, and I've got no problem doing that. Yeah, it's just summon. Take him out. And Migrant Seal number 16. So we now have seven, level 17 Migrant level. Almost got them all, uh, I believe. No, no, no. We, we're going to get the la last... 20 is the highest, I believe. Another battle. I don't feel the need to edit out so many battles because they're just, they're just so quick. Uh, these guys, I'm just going to summon. Take them out real fast. I mean, it's so quick to, to end these battles now. They only take a good 10 seconds now. Now for this one, obviously, uh, I recommend you do it from this side. It'll be a little easier. And this is how I've always solved it. But yeah, you just gotta make it so you can Gale Crest across. Nice little change crest uh, usage there. That was all the treasure in here, by the way. That's actually all the treasures for the rest of the game. Because, you know, this is the last chapter and all. Hmm. So Oscar wasn't lying. Ah, there's Malak. He wants to do his own creepy stuff with it. You want to turn the the planet into a spaceship? Um. Okay, Siegfried. That's uh. That's quite the plan. Please don't send Osgard after us. Please don't send Osgard after us. Please don't. Ah, oh, son of a bitch! Can he even fit through that door? Uh, doesn't look like he can, but okay. Now, before you go through here, you want to knock those off. Do not turn that into a block because it'll turn into a block when we do this. And if you, if it's a block right now. Well, when you Gale Crest across, you will Gale Crest right off the edge as opposed to in that block. So, that's why you don't touch that one until, you know, you throw that in a straight line across there from the other side. Okay, now uh, we got a little bit of a tricky puzzle, but nothing you can't handle. Boomerang right there. Pretty simple. Let's head on through this door. Ah, this one. This one took me forever to figure out. If you just do this, they set it up so that there is not enough time. What you gotta do, turn them all into blocks. Obviously, you're supposed to collect them all before they respawn, but they respawn too quickly. There are many ways to do this. The 
easiest of which is to put them in a straight... Well, I don't think you... Yeah, you can. You can put them in a straight line. Or you can do it like a square. Whatever. Any way you can collect them quickly works just fine. Get ready. Go. Simple. Of course, if you need to get your vitality up, you can just keep keep uh, collecting these now, which is pretty nice. Now, if there is anything you want to do before going into the next area, do it now. Because once you go through here, you're going to be stuck. And you're going to have to finish the next area, but I don't. Uh, again, you should have fought forms... What was it? 61 through 70? I think. Let's find out real quick. Yeah, 61 through 70. And you should have revealed one of the telepath towers. So, 61 through 70 of Ariosh. And once we open that door... We got a problem. Yep. Yeah. Heroes don't need plans. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't I won't do it again. Um since when does Malik have creepy music? Who the hell are you? Um... She looks kind of familiar. Nah, nah, we've never seen her before. Oh, she... She's gonna be a helpful little girl. Alright. Who... Who is this girl? How did she even get in here? What? It worked? What did she do? Ah, I'm sure it's nothing. And that ability that that little girl has makes perfect sense. I'll explain it later. I wonder if it was that little girl that triggered the alarm. Nah, it doesn't really make sense. Well, I'm sure that girl's a completely unimportant character, so... Who cares? This is the end of the game! It is. It would've been cool if you got to play as uh, Alfred and company for this part, but... Oh well! Now! This is a heal point. Ah, uh, 13 minutes? We got time. And this is a steady doll. No, no. Ah, uh, this is a fantastic room to grind three different rings. You want to get four of them. See these flirty enemies here? They use ice attacks on you. They use, um... What kind of ice attacks on you? Uh... Single target and multi-target. Yeah, that's right. And this enemy is a Hoburn. Hoburn, I think. And uh, he uses a fire elemental attack on you. Single target and then a multi-target one. And the other enemy in here is called Sekhmet. And they will use... Uh, Earth of the Month attacks on you. Now, if you come in here with 100 with 99 potion berries, you can steal ice elemental rings from these guys and fire elemental rings from these guys. But, you can also kill them really, 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 really fast. I believe they have weaknesses, but it doesn't really matter. Like, let's see. Flurities have a weakness to fire, and Harborins have a weakness to ice. 
Uh, you, you can also steal... No, I'm sorry. You can just steal growth eggs from them. Which, if you want to farm them, this is the place to do it. Come in here with 99 potion berries and, you're, and you can do it. Or steal up to 99 potion berries. If you forgot, I didn't mean to do that. And we got one ice ring already. Excellent. Now you can also encounter that same formation, only reverse it so that the hoverins outnumber the florins. Now I want to show the other enemy here. Now I'm going to summon Lushjaw on them and uh, kill them all because, well, it kills them real quick like that, as you saw. Nah, this is the same one. Now, what I recommend that you do is get four Earth Rings, four Ice Rings, and four Fire Rings. You can get away with three of each of them, but I recommend you have one just in case you want to Mystic it, or attach the element for whatever reason. And particularly the Ice Ring, because there's a boss coming up that is weak to ice. And the... Well, I guess really just the Ice Ring is the most important to have four of. But you absolutely, absolutely want three at least Fire Rings. Because there is a brutally strong fire elemental boss at, later in the game that will kick your ass. And this is a pretty fast area to do it. It is the only other... There's, it, is the, it is one of two areas in the game where you can get ice rings. Here's segments. They do uh, a really powerful single target earth elemental attack, but also a ridiculously strong physical attack to your party. So definitely kill them real fast. That didn't kill him? Well, uh, an attack from Jet will finish him off. Okay, uh, I had to do something real quick, but... Anyway, you can get a whole bunch of rings from these guys. Now again, I have already done this. On a later save file. I'm not gonna do it again, but I... Don't think I need... Now, I'm not going to need them in the near future, but by the time I'll need them, I'll have them. Um, so, anyway, if you're wondering how long it took me to get four ice, earth, and fire rings, it took me 45 minutes uh, during my first test run. It took me a half hour on the second test run, 25 minutes on the third, and I think it took me 32 minutes on the Let's Play. It is very reasonable. It does not take a long time. At most, it might take an hour. Uh, you can, if you run out of summons, you can just come right back here, heal up, not a problem. And I highly, highly recommend that you do this, because I will be going through this walkthrough assuming that you have done this. It will help you later on, and uh, a major problem with the ice rings is that you can only get them in the final area of the game. And by the time I need them, that's too late. On top of which, the enemy that you can steal them from in the last area of the game, they are uh, very rare enemies. Um, it's a pain in the butt, so just get them now. Definitely get them now. Also keep in mind that this is a one-time only area. Yes, it is a one-time only area. So if you don't get them now, you're in for a world of hurt. Because you can never come back here again. But yes, I'm going to be summoning against every enemy here. Not a big deal. And next time, uh, we'll go through this area. And it'll be fun. But yeah, I always have the person with disarm open the chests, obviously. Like, watch, I bet I have another ice ring already. Yep, see, look at that. Five minutes, two ice rings. That is ridiculously effective. And it says 5% drop rate. But I, but there's, there's so many of them, especially the fire and ice guys. 
The Earth guys, not so much, but you might as well get them because you probably will because you're going to be fighting so many battles. That 5% off of, like, what, 10 enemies is pretty good. So... And I think the Earth Rings might have a higher drop rate. No, they don't. But, whatever. Not that hard. Uh, not that time-consuming. Definitely get four of each of those. Fire, Ice, and Earth. And uh, I'll, I've already done that ahead of time, so... Once I get to where I left off, I will have those four rings. Well, this is Ryzen. Thanks for watching. Take care.